Welcome to this episode of Door Hardware Nerds. I'm your host, Mia Merrill. Today, I'm joined by Sylvan Zayavu. Sylvan, please introduce yourself and tell us about your role here. Hi, Mia. Thanks for having me in the show today. I'm Sylvan Zayavu. I am the Senior Product Manager for Adam's Right. Uh, I've been with this business for the last four years and with S. Abloy for the last 10 years. Uh, with Adam's Right, my role is to launch new products, generation planning, uh, and that's primarily what I do. Uh, and it's an exciting job to do. Yeah, product management is right in the center of everything, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, let's start off today. Uh, can you tell us about, you know, what is unique about the Adams Wright brand? Adams Wright is a very unique brand from the perspective that we have products for narrow style aluminum doors. Uh, we have five different uh, focused product categories. We have dead locks, we have dead latches, trims, exit devices, and electric strikes, uh, primarily focused on uh, locking mechanisms. Uh, and uh, our products do work with uh, medium style and white style doors, but our specialization uh, is narrow style aluminum doors. Okay, so can you explain how installers are able to tell the difference between Adams Wright and other low cost options that are available in the market? Yeah, uh, Adam's Tide is one of the most knocked off product in the industry. Like there are so many uh, offshore brands that make or manufacture products that look very similar to Adam's Tide. Uh, a lot of brands have copied our design uh, or door prep. Uh, so Adam's Tide has a very unique door prep, which is called MS door prep. Uh, so most of our competition have copied that prep. So uh, if an installer needs to take off Adam's Tide product and use a, a knockoff product, it will actually uh, you know, work in the same prep. Uh, but what happens is uh, the quality of our build. So installation is much easier when it comes to uh, installing an right lock. Uh, sometimes the dimensions are not accurate with our knockoff brand. So they sometimes struggle to install that. Uh, also, uh, when it comes to Adam Trite, the reliability of the product, the life of the product. You can see Adam Trite locks and exit devices that have survived for over 50 years. Uh, so uh, locksmiths and installers who have been uh, using the brand for uh, a long time really know the quality of the product. So it's super easy for them to differentiate. Uh, but for new locksmiths and installers, they, they're slowly learning uh, how to differentiate. But there's, uh, you know, the other reason is we have a wide range of products. There are certain applications where they cannot use a different brand. Uh, they have to use Adam Thrive. So that way they know you go to Adam Thrive, you get a complete solution uh, for narrow shell aluminum doors. Okay, so typically, like you said, I think Adams Wright is known for mechanical products. Is there an easy way for customers to upgrade them to electrified locks? That's a great question. So uh, Adams Wright is kind of a really old brand. We've been in this business for over 100 years and primarily focused on mechanical products. Uh, but for the last few years, uh, we have this marketing campaign called Mechanical to Electrical. So uh, in that campaign, what we did was we, we kind of came up with products uh, that can fit into existing door prep and upgrade the existing doors into um, electrified doors. So we, we have a wide range of products that can actually retrofit into existing doors. So we have uh, electrified dead latches, we have uh, electrified exit devices, we have electric strikes, uh, and we have electrified paddles as well. So we have all these op options that helps our customers to upgrade from a mechanical door into an electrified opening. Okay. Uh, what is the most common application where you see installers asking for help with their product selection? Yeah. So one of the common uh, things we see is, uh, as I said, upgrading a mechanical door into electrified opening. So what typically happens is we have sold uh, millions and millions of dead locks and dead latches for aluminum storefronts and aluminum doors uh, in the last 40 to 50 years. And uh, when, when an installer goes to a site and if he wants to upgrade that door into uh, electrified opening, uh, they do not know which is the right product to use in that applications, uh, especially system integrators and other installers as well. So uh, they keep asking us like, will this dead latch fit into it? Uh, or will this strike fit into it? So those kind of questions keep coming up because uh, as you said, you know, we've been primarily known for mechanical products. In the last few years, we have gone into electromechanical. So we're still trying to communicate to our customers on how they can upgrade and make them more aware of the solutions we have. The second thing we hear from our customers uh, or installers is, uh, you know, we have this preload problem. So there, there is a door uh, because of preload, the door is not opening, the lock is not unlatching. So how do we uh, figure that out? Like, how do we solve this problem? So that's one of the common uh, question we uh, come across from our uh, installers as well. Okay, so how do you solve that preload problem? So, 
uh, what, what is preload? So typically preload is uh, a kind of uh, force that's acting on the latch because of the uh, weight of the door that's being transferred into the latch. And this can be because of various reasons. Uh, it can be because of misaligned door. It can be because of the door seals. Uh, it can be because of a HVAC system. It can be various reasons. Uh, so one of the best ways to kind of counter this is to use the Adam Thright uh, preload electric strikes. So we have two different series of uh, electric strikes. Uh, you know, one for uh, mortise locks and cylindrical locks, the other one for exit devices. And, and those can take up to 25 pound preload and that can really solve this problem. Great. All right, so can you let us in on some of the secrets? What does the future for mechanical to electrical strategy look like for Adams Wright? Yeah, that's a great question. So I, I already said that we've been uh, trying to move our customers from mechanical to uh, electrified products. And then the strategy for us, the future strategy, which we have already started is uh, mechanical to electrical to wireless. So what we are having a product roadmap where we are gonna have uh, products uh, that are wireless. So why do we need wireless products? So from, when we go from mechanical to electrical, the customer needs to hardwire the product uh, to power the product as well as they need data communication, data communication. So the hardwiring is required. So it's kind of labor intensive when we talk about hardwiring, all these locks, DPS switches, REC switches, it's a lot of hardwiring uh, that goes around the door. So that's the reason we thought the future is going to be wireless. So what is, what's the benefit of using a wireless lock? So you don't need to hardwire the lock. So what we are doing is we are taking uh, our locks, electrified locks, and making them work with uh, a battery operated um, standalone reader uh, that can be connected to a wireless hub and in turn into the access control system. So if you're familiar with the Aperio technology from uh, SI Abloy, we are leveraging that technology to launch Aperio uh, locks, wireless locks, uh, that will help our customers to upgrade from a mechanical lock into a wireless lock very easily uh, by just using a battery. So they don't need a uh, hard wiring and the communication is wireless. Great. And can you tell me what the next product launch is for Adams, right? Yeah, so th that's a great segue. So the next product we are gonna launch is a dead latch 100, DL100. That's an Aperio product. So what we did was we had the legacy uh, steel hawk dead latch, uh, electrified dead latch. Uh, which was solenoid operated. So we took that dead latch and we upgraded that dead latch into a wireless dead latch. So what we did was we came up with a technology called um, eco latch. So it's nothing but a motorized uh, mechanism. So we upgraded the uh, uh, steel lock into a motorized mechanism and we also added a wireless reader into that. So the battery powers both the reader and the lock and it's super easy to uh, upgrade an existing uh, dead lock or dead latch with the MS prep with this new product. And it talks to the wireless hub and in turn into the access control system. So wide range of compatibility and, uh, and the reader is a feature rich reader, which is a multi-class reader plus it is NFC and mobile capable. So it's, it's a fantastic product. And uh, we will be launching this product by the first week of June. So it's really close and uh, looking forward to it. Wow, I can't wait to see it. All right, any final thoughts you wanna share with us today? Sure, uh, we did discuss about the uh, preload uh, issues our customers face and what products we have for uh, preload uh, problems. So one of the things I would like to highlight is the uh, preload uh, electric strikes for exit devices. So we have the 74R1 and the 74R2 electric strikes. Uh, these two are kind of the only preload exit device electric strikes, which are grade one in the industry. So if a customer uses an exit device and if they have a preload problem with that, uh, they can definitely choose our electric strikes, which is a 74R1 or 74R2, and that will give them an easy solution to the preload problem. That's something I would like to highlight. Great. That's wonderful. All right. Well, for more information about any of the products you heard today, please visit adamsright.com. I will put a link below for that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below as well. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date when our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.